Hello, hello everybody, it's your boy Prof Chuff, and we're back again with a new Tier Zoo videos. This is our camels OP. I don't know. I haven't heard anything about camels in a long ass time. Are they OP? I don't think so. They don't do much, right? They're just enduring creatures. Camels are one of the most unorthodox builds in the game. Yeah, in the right sell. conditions, their combination of unique abilities and special set of elemental resistances makes for a <laughs> shockingly effective strategy. But overall, where do camels rank on the tier list? Okay. Is there weird? Okay, let's do prediction. I mean, I don't, I don't know, I'd go like B probably because I don't think anybody hunts camels and but they also don't do much rank on the tier list huh. is their weird shape and odd skill set actually what overpowered they doing? What's that or is doing? their current player base carried by their My human allies <laughs> today we'll discuss the history doing? stats and abilities of the camel and ultimately decide <laughs> what the hell we'll begin with the origin of the camel uh-huh camels first began rising in the meta at a time when a lot of mammalian herbivore builds were really taking off okay some of these herbivores specked into an ability Aww. called rumination to gain bonus rumination. xp from the newly buffed grass and i'm for chamber stomach to allow for maximum maximize digestion yup yup like cows some herbivores specked into more powerful pvp abilities like keratinized horns and armor in order to remain more well defended Buffalo. when out in the open, oh. the camel, by contrast, took neither of these paths. This is fine. Because they could not digest grass, oh, they instead... They shed? I mean, I guess it makes sense that they shed. I didn't know camels shed. Yeah, need to spend that's what they were doing there. ...which would allow them Unique to survive feet. the frequent long treks between an ever-decreasing supply of nutritious tree leaves. Mm. So, what are the camel's most important abilities? The most obvious one I know is they can hold water for a really, 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 really long time. Their hump. The hump serves multiple purposes. What do they do? Primarily, it's used as a site for fat storage, ah. functioning as an energy reserve, which allows oh. camels to survive incredibly- Wait, their humps are fat? Oh. Long journeys without that makes access sense. to food. With a maxed out fat reserve, yeah. camel players can ignore hunger damage for several months as they months. search for new spots to forage. God but in damn. addition to providing starvation resistance, allocating all the camel's body fat to one spot gives them excellent heat resistance by allowing for extremely efficient heat exchange everywhere else on the surface of the camel's oh. body. Now, oh. of course, this ability does come at a cost. The hump is an awkward and cumbersome load to bear, weighing the camel Why is it down running and like making that? its movement a lot more wobbly Ew. and top heavy while running. Definitely not an ability you could just throw onto any other herbivore build and see benefit from. Mm. You need to have other abilities to help mitigate the weaknesses the hump incurs. So what other abilities does the camel have? Yeah, what you got, The brother? second main ability is the camel's feet pads. The feet? Rather than walking on hooved toes like most other herbivores, uh -huh. camels spec into large padded feet. Now, normally Why? when a player spends their evolution points unlocking padded feet, they're doing so in order to mask the sound of their cat? steps and buff their stealth Bro, what's that cat doing? It does Wait, what are you technically Smart? offer a small stealth bonus, something as tall as a camel is yeah. not going to be very successful at hiding. Instead, the similar to the hump, this ability creatures. protects camels from the stress and chip damage most players would accrue ah. when walking for such long distances. It also spreads uh, out their weight, preventing them from sinking into whatever surface they're standing he, he, I'm in on. Danger. This is especially important when Underwater traversing ass. sandy or snowy environments, as it negates the movement penalties from this sort of terrain. Mm. Camels have a few other minor abilities okay, as well. Okay, this thing, the thing. I've seen this and I thought it was their innards coming out of their mouth. Turns out that's actually what it is, but it, they use it for like heat shit. Their sickle-shaped blood cells make them more resistant to dehydration, mm. and their tough, leathery blood mouth cell? negates puncture damage, oh! allowing the camel what to be one the of the few builds able to eat cacti without being oh. hurt by their spines. Oh. A lot of players are under <laughs> you the see that, dude. the few builds able to eat cacti without being hurt by their spines. A lot of players are under the impression that camels possess a powerful oh, yeah. spinning ranged attack, similar Do to the cobra or archer fish. Unfortunately, no, there's not really anything particularly threatening about the camel's spit, oh. nor do they actually employ this skill in combat. Ew. They may vomit when threatened, but this no, is... Not the only camels have an organ called Dula in their throats, a large inflatable sack that they extrude to assess dominance and attract female. Yeah. That, I... Mm, mm. Just a result I guess stress, it works for them. A defensive ability. Like, ew, That's disgusting. not to say the camel's mouth isn't dangerous, though. Holy in addition shit. to their tough, leathery palate, one of the things that sets camels apart the from other herbivores, herbivores is that their teeth can actually deal serious damage. And with a neck as long... Bro! It deep-throated his head! 
like the, not the down, the big, the, the, the actual head, the bone with the brain. Flexible as the camels, the useful not brain. Not many angles you could attack a camel from without risking a nasty bite counterattack. Camels Damn, can also attack so with their kicks, although Oof. their padded feet won't deal as much damage oh. as, say, the sharp <laughs> hooves of a zebra or giraffe. Anyway, those are the main oh, abilities I, of the oh. camel. Build. Next. Oh, I think that guy lost the knee. Let's look at the camel Reserve stats. Probably. Don't and fuck with quick them. note, I should mention that there are two variations of camel. Okay. The dromedary and bactrian. They're okay, the bactrian looks like he goes to the gym. Dromedary? The apparent difference is that the dromedary has does. one hump while the bactrian has two. Ah. But honestly, the more important difference is in their base stats. Bactrians are larger, more powerful, and better adapted to the cold. The dromedary the cold. is smaller, but slightly more agile mm. and better suited for extreme heat. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, those stats look pretty goddamn high. Extreme heat. Like that Camels power stats pretty high, brother. Intelligence. Do they deserve Necessary it? Necessary for them to be able to remember the long routes that they travel on. As mentioned earlier, camels do have a more damaging bite than most herbivores. But compared to the damage large herbivores can dish out using their tusks or horns, they still fall short. Oh, their defenses damn. are quite strong, done. especially when it comes to elemental resistances. But on top of those, the camel's height makes it very <laughs> difficult for predators to land an attack on them. Thanks to their special terrain oh, movement that? bonuses, most of the time oh, they don't even yeah. need to worry about predators, as no sane player would seriously try to follow them into an inhospitable desert. Return but to the even battlefield. on normal solid ground, the camel Camel's movement speed is pretty <laughs> decent, albeit kind of awkward. Obviously, oh, even with their oh. padded feet slightly dampening the sound of their steps, <laughs> their stealth do? is still abysmal, given that camels are the third tallest land animal after the Oh, giant really? Elephant. I didn't know that. And lastly, their perception is pretty normal for Horizontal an animal, pupils. except for the oh. camel's partial immunity to the blindness condition, on account what? of their long eyelashes, which block incoming sand and dust. Oh. This is all well and good, but the question remains, just how viable Ooh, that's is a young this camel. really? Is the camel just another build completely carried by humanity? So, the camel is actually one of the more recent additions to the human's party, with really? domestication being unlocked during the mid to late Bronze Age. Mm. Well, after yeah, okay, listen, I've played some Total War games and you can ride them into battle, I Ogs, guess. So, people kind of did that. I already guess. formed alliances with humanity. And it was mm. with the last one, horses, that camels were competing with for the Oof. spot on the team as both horses and camels are useful to function as a mount. Mm. Horses are the fastest, Way fast, and yeah. in a lot of scenarios, that's truly all that matters. In Bronze Age human versus human PvP, being able to outmaneuver and flank their enemies human human was one PvP. of the most important factors in securing victory. But for just about everything else, camels were far more reliable. Are they? Camels have a higher equipment load. They can, they can carry up to 440 pounds for 31 miles a day. God damn! Carry much more cargo. That's they a beast. They have higher vitality and defense, and thus can carry human players a much further distance in much worse conditions. And of course, the fact that they are not impeded by difficult terrain is yeah, a huge that's perk important. for choosing the camel. What is it's it for kind this of reason fragile? that as humanity began transitioning away from a nomadic raiding playstyle and towards Bronze Age palace-based economies, mm. having a mount that could carry goods across the vast desert between empires was of vital importance. Camels were the only viable option for humans to cross the large deserts, like the Outback, Sahara, and Outback. Mojave, until humanity unlocked trains Mojave on desert? the tech tree. So for Nuclear a substantial winter? length of time, camels were an integral part Stonks. of the economy across most of the world. But now? And although railroads have made them obsolete in some <laughs> what are you doing, when it brother? comes to crossing the desert, they are still genuinely one of the best oh, options. That's cute. Similar to horses and cattle, the vast majority of camel players are purely opting for the human with a nuzzle on it, they actually bite a lot, I guess. Focused team combo playstyle. There are only around a thousand players who are part of the truly wild faction that never joined up with humans. Oh. Does this mean without humans, camels would be low tier trash? I can see why you might jump to that conclusion. Despite their immense physical strength, I read domestic cattle as B tier, in part hey! because without humanity, it's unclear if they could even survive in the wilderness. Honestly, B tier might have even been too generous. Ooh. But there's no question, when left to fend for themselves in the wilderness, camels not only survive, they thrive. They thrive? When humanity unlocked huh. the motorized transport tech, many human Damn. players kicked out the camel players from their party. <laughs> this happened in America, oh. in the Middle East, and Wait, America had camels? in Australia. Huh. Now, an invasive mammal succeeding in Australia is really not that big a surprise, but thriving in How the outback specifically is undoubtedly impressive. Here, they must contend with one of the other most successful Australian Emu? invaders, the dingo. Oh, and let's be dingo? real, it's not even close to being an even matchup. Being historically from Asia, camels had to contend with everything from lions and leopards to mm. wolves and even tigers. So Damn. despite their awkward top-heavy appearance and lack of fight. powerful damage dealing abilities, their incredible survival They're skill earns big, them the bro. rank of A tier. A tier. Now, this video Damn.
I thought they were losers, but god damn, they're winners. Focused specifically on the Bactrian and Dromedary camel. Uh -huh. The two builds most players would associate How with many the other word camels camel. are there? But the camel faction does technically contain two other builds. Which are? The Llama and Alpaca. These belong to the... I mean, listen. Just based on a adorableness and meanness, eight year base of prehistoric minimum eight years, which just adorable. South okay, come on. The South America server, rather than across the Bering Strait and into Asia. If it because has a head, vastly different environments, they obviously spec into different Lama wins. However, a lot of their core features are more or less the same. I have a lot to say about these creatures. Oh my God! Mostly look at them. They are the most disgusting, Ugh. nasty creatures I've ever encountered. Well, right. they're cute though. So this ad read is going to take away. a bit of a different turn than usual, but here's the deal. A few ad? months ago, I got a message from the team at Wendover Productions asking if I wanted to be on a game show. Considering this is the same team Wait, that this makes is the show Jet Lag the Game, Wait, I the... thought was streaming now algorithm of my own. You'll what? love it. Exactly, and thanks again to Nebula for sponsoring this video. What about the llamas? I want to know what the llamas, goddammit. Ah, I want to know what their place in the tier list is. Okay, well, this was the R Camels OP by Tierzu. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about llamas, camels, and uh, dromedaries, and the, the big mederis. And uh, I'll see y'all next time, okay? Bye, everybody. Hope y'all enjoyed this. <laughs>